thank you so much for taking time to speak with us. I can't believe um, what you witnessed. Um, what what was going through your mind, I guess, first of all, when, when you saw this happen? Um, I was very, very traumatized. Um, I'm a nurse, but I was unable to help um, those guys that were on the other side of the road. And Marvelous, what made you stop to take this video in the first place? Uh, because my car couldn't move anymore. Wow. W to explain the conditions on the road whenever you took this video. Um, when I took the video, um, I was driving and um, the road was slippery, very, very slippery, uh, that my car had to stop up on his own so I had to maneuver the car to the shoulder and I started looking on the other side and seeing cars coming down like 50 miles an hour 40 miles an hour SUVs a lot of tractor trailers around what, and, uh, do you remember about what time it was taken uh, around 345 I believe okay and so you are are standing there on the side of the road you say that your vehicle was not able to drive anymore, so you had stopped, and you said you noticed other vehicles, you said going about 40, 50 miles an hour. Did the vehicles that you were noticing, did they look in control, or did they look um, out of control as if they were sliding, and any problems before then you saw that, that tanker spin out of control? Yeah, they were basically sliding 50 miles an hour, and before I started shooting the video, I was hearing some, some loud noise, and I, I couldn't figure out where the noises were coming from. But when I looked up, I saw the cars piling like, you know, slamming on each other. I, I first called 911 and told them we are having an emergency on 95. And the dispatcher said, okay, that they will send us some help before I started shooting the video. Now, we have the video to the point where we see that ball of fire, that explosion. Tell us a little bit about what happened after that. Uh, we have heard reports of many cars backing up because of this. Were you still there on the scene? Yeah, I was there on the scene, but on the other side of the road. Um, basically, the tracker trailer was, was also sliding, but it was so traumatic for me um, to be recording that on my phone. Did you see or speak to anybody else that was injured and escaped this accident? Um, some couple of drivers that ran out of their car that was uh, behind me. And when I looked in there for the tracker trailer that I fell through, it was about 100 feet drop. You can see between those, um, the two, um, 95, the other side, both of them in between there is about 100 feet drop. That was um, where the tracker trailer dropped. So, yeah, we did hear that report. I'm glad you're able to clarify this as an eyewitness to what happened here. So, when that tractor trailer, the tanker, hit that side rail and then it burst into that explosion, you're saying it actually went off um, that overpass at that time and, and fell below, correct? You fell below. Yes, okay. Sir. And I'm familiar with this area there right off of Washington Boulevard. I know there are some, some train tracks down there, and sometimes there's other traffic down there. So I'm just, you know, we don't know all the details yet, but I certainly hope that there are no vehicles traveling at that exact moment underneath um, because those drivers would have no way of seeing this, this coming and, and just, oh, it's just so horrible. It is really still hard to watch. Marvelous, when did you finally get out of there and off 95? Um, about 10 minutes ago. I, I just got home now. Wow, so what an incredible morning you have had. I guess after you um, see something like this, what's, what's going through your mind? Um, I wish I could help because uh, I had a call out this morning too. I'm a, um, I'm a nurse, but uh, in situation like this, I, w I wish I was like uh, more of a helping hand instead of just shooting the video. Sure, absolutely understandable. Marvelous, thank you so much for joining us over the phone this morning and for sharing your video with us. Very dramatic. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so very much.